Hiking in, up in the cat skills before the snow coming. Let's see what we get. Anywhere from like five to eleven inches it's calling for. Short hike in, two and a half miles. Two miles, two and a half, whatever it is. But we shall see. It's been a while since I'm out here. Back. See what this looks like uh, Tuesday hiking out. It's doing two nights. Two nights. It's supposed to start snowing tonight and a little bit tomorrow during the day, evening maybe. Right. We're getting there. Almost where we want to be. Oh, this is nice. The pines. Gotta love the pines. Sketch getting up here. I had to take the packs off and do a little climbing. It's gonna be uh, interesting getting down. Oh, here we go. Whew. Yes. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Oh. How's that for a birthday present? That's the best I had. Yeah. home for the next two days. Yep. There's no shoes there. Brought the shovel, probably won't need it, but uh, this is it, everything's in here. Not quite the spot I was thinking of camping, but it will do. Hopefully now we get some snow in the thicket here. Quilt there, I got my pillow, there's my bag. It's everything.
fast. That's like a minute. It's only a cup and a third. This inside the tent here. Let's get a little more light, maybe. All right. Got the candle going. There's plenty of room for one person. I wouldn't want to squish two people in here. I got my pack, all my gear. Got the candle going for the little ambiance. I think it's the Coogan's. Survival candle. Yeah, another pocket on that end. It didn't start snowing yet, but it's coming. This is nice because I keep this whole thing open here. There's Mike over there. All right, I'm just gonna hunker down now. This is great. That candle's awesome. Perfect. All right. Good night. It's snowing. Still early too. But I should put the vestibule up. I did bring it. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Knock that off. tent over there. Alright. Okay. Still snowing. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's a couple inches still. I'm still coming down. Tent held up pretty good. No complaints. Is what it is for a single wool tent. It's Mike over there. Alright, I gotta get some gloves on. Make something. Oh yeah. So this is inside with the vestibule. Still tight, but that vestibule gives a lot of room so I can uh, melt some snow there. Cook. Got more room now, at least. It's tight, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, still snowing out. That's it. I got this water to boil. Almost. Make some coffee. I'm gonna have some uh, Irish cream, hot cocoa, and coffee. Starbucks. For lunch, I'm making some biscuits and gravy. That's it. Actually, that's, that's breakfast. Early breakfast. Lunch is later. All right, I'm boiling away here. Okay. That's it. Put the 
vestibule. There's the pot, the 1.8 liter. And there's the stove. Now, oh. I'll show you this, what I did here. I'll try and do it one hand. There's the stove. I made this little stand. It's just a piece of like hobby wood that I painted yellow. I put a little insulation tape on the bottom and there. Put the bungees through. And it works out pretty good. Just drop that on. Like that. sit right on there. I can't do it right now. Unless I put my phone down for a second. So that's the wind burner. Okay. It's a little bit after six o'clock. Got cold out quick and windy. Um this tent is I'm gonna say it's really good. There is a layer of frost on the interior walls, and you know what? This is, I think any single wall tent, you can't do anything about that when it gets this cold out. Even with the vents open and everything. Uh, I have my candle burning right here in front of me. Keep, take the chill off a little bit. Um, two person tent, I wouldn't want to put two people in here, no way. One person is just fine. With the vestibule, it was nice. I put that on today. It gave me a little more room. And the problem was last night, I kept the door open about halfway with the screen almost all the way up, just open a little bit on top. And during the night, the wind was blowing towards me with the snow and the between the screen mesh. And the door that was open filled up with snow. I woke up this morning and saw that and was like, oh shit. So I had to dump that out. Didn't get inside the tent, but it was in between the screen door and the other door. Yeah. That was Mike. <laughs> um, I would say there was condensation, but it all froze to frost, so... If I bang the walls a little bit like that, I don't know if you can see, it snows a little bit here. I think that's any single little tent. You're going to get that in the winter. <clears throat> Overall, that was nice. Two people know, one person. But there's enough room in here to do everything you got to do. Uh, I mean, I've pretty much been in here for 
half of yesterday and mostly all today and then all tonight. Tomorrow morning we're going to get up and get out. So, it's enough. Being stuck in here for like a week might be a different story. If I was any more than two or three days, I think I would want the next size up, go with a three-man just for that extra space. Like, extra, extra space. I mean, I don't have much of all my stuff's in here. It's fine. I'm just nitpicking, but I do like it. It's windy out right now, and you wouldn't even know it in here. It's definitely sturdy. Uh, I'm not sure what the wind gusts are. But, it's not bad. In here is nice. I wouldn't even know it. It's comfortable and cozy. I got my x pad to keep me nice and warm. And, that's all for tonight. We'll see how it is taking the tent down tomorrow. Putting it up is a pain in the ass. It took a little while. I mean, I've practiced it. I've done it. I know how to do it. It just takes time. And with gloves on, and it was cold and snow. It took a little time. It was a pain in the ass. I'm sure the more I put it up, the easier it'll get. But uh, taking it down should be easy. Except all the poles are frozen with ice on them. Figuring that out in the morning. It's always easier to break it down than to put it up. Um, alright. I'm going to, uh, just lay here and relax and listen to that wind and it started snowing again a little bit. I could hear it hitting the tent. Little, like, ice pellets, probably. But I tell you what, though, this, this Coogan's 12-hour emergency candle... Is golden, golden. Lights up the whole inside of the tent, and definitely takes a little bit of the chill out. And I put it on my base that I made for my wind burner, my cook pot. I set it on there. The bottom doesn't get hot, but I put it on there anyway, just to insulate from the floor of the tent. Uh, Keeps it nice and fresh up in this corner over here by me. And the morning, it's going to be cold. I think it's like 20 degrees and windy. That's it. My back hurts. It's been hurting for like two weeks, but not too bad. I'll take one or two a leave. Take on a leave tonight before I go to bed. And in the morning when I get up, I'll take two of them. Get me out of here. I should be all right. Don't worry about it tomorrow doesn't hurt when I'm laying down, it actually feels nice, so. Okay, that's all I'm just saying. It's a good tent, I like it. It's definitely, for this kind of weather, it's perfect for me. Could be a little bigger if I had to stay in here another day or two. But then, of course, it's getting heavier, and this is heavy enough with the vestibule. So, my pack weighed about... 30 pounds coming in before I put the snowshoes on them. So it'll be a little bit lighter going out tomorrow. Minus the food weight and no water. I don't think I'm going to need the snowshoes though going out. There's only like maybe five inches of snow came. That's about it. Unless we get two or three more tonight, maybe use them, but probably not. Five inches ain't much. Just cold and windy. Alright, good night. That's it. Alright. Packing up in the winter always sucks. It's cold out. It's actually not that bad today. I'm pretty much all packed up. I just got this pad I'm laying on for warmth. It's got to do the tent. Big blue. That's it. Got everything in there. All set. Went and took care of my business this morning. Now it's just a matter of breaking down the tent, which shouldn't be too bad. I already uh, cleared out where all the stakes are. So I just got to pull them out. And then I got the 
big stuff sack here for it. Not the stock one. I bought a new one bigger so I just stuff everything in there easily. Shake off some of this ice. And that is it. Let me pack up and get out of here. Give Mike a hand when he's ready. And there we go. That's it. I will say another nuisance about this tent that I don't like the vestibule. They put the storm flap inside and the fucking zipper gets caught on it multiple times. A little bit of a pain in the ass. I don't know why they couldn't just put like a big beefy zipper on there without a storm flap. But whatever. Uh, everything worked good. Kept me dry, safe from the wind and snow. Okay. Okay. Hiking out, breaking trail out in the snow. It was like borderline for snowshoes or not. So we opted not to wear them. Only because there's so many rocks that are still up and with the snowshoes it would have been tough. So that's it. It's only, it's only like maybe, maybe five inches of snow we got. So could have done the snowshoes, but we opted not to. And we're not ruining the trail or anything, so. Just uh, find the main way to trail out of here. Best way down the mountain. Still going out, following some deer tracks now. Actually, for quite some time. Stayed on the trail through a lot of it. <laughs> 